Hey guys, we got Saiyan to be again. In this video, I wanted to do a review on the G-Form Pro X3s. Let's get into the video. Okay, so I've had these knee pads for about seven to eight months now, and I've actually switched knee pads. I've recently been wearing the Fox D30 knee pads, and I'll get into why I switched later. But first, we'll get into the pros and cons of the G-Form X3s. We'll start with the pros. Super comfortable to climb in. With these knee pads, I barely noticed that they were even there. Another pro. They're super easy to put on, but that actually begins to be a problem, and I'll tell you guys later in the video. Another pro, they're fairly inexpensive of an MSRP of $62. Okay, now we'll get into the cons of these knee pads. First con, they're not very durable. I haven't even had a bad crash on them, and they're already starting to tear. Second con, this might just be for me, the sizing was right, but they just fell down every single time I'd go down on a run especially at the bike park. Okay, moving on to my actual review. What do I think about these things? Well, they're amazing to climb in, they're so comfortable, and they're so easy to put on. If you guys have watched my other videos, you know that I'm kind of an enduro rider, or some people put it as uh, downhill, and these are not really oriented towards those types of people. If you guys watch my videos, you know I don't crash that often. I, I actually never really put a big hit in these things, and they're already tearing, which is not really a good sign to me. Mostly just small holes from the pedals or, or just getting torn from kind of pulling them up. It's not all that bad, but if you guys are an enduro or a downhill rider, I don't know if, I don't think these are the knee pads for you. If you guys are XC or a trail, these might be really good knee pads for you. But for somebody that might crash more, you might want to get a beefier pad. Yeah, that's mostly my review on these. So, summary, they're great for climbing, they're not very durable, but they'll take a small hit, and if you're an enduro rider or a downhill rider, I would get a beefier pad if you were, if I was, if I were you, but if you're an XC or trail guy, these might be a really good option for you. Okay, now I'm going to talk a little bit about why I picked my new knee pads, the Fox D30s. Well, as you guys can hear here, it's almost like there's a little piece of plastic in here. They're a lot more durable, they almost have a shell on them, but they're really good for climbing still. And like I was talking about earlier in the video where those slipped down a lot, these don't because they have the, the adjustable strap here, the adjustable Velcro strap, and that's what I was looking for. I was looking for a good knee pad that would withstand good hits, good for climbing, and just fit me better. And these right here fit me a lot better. I'm not going to get into crazy depth with these knee pads because this isn't actually a review on these. It's a review on these guys. I'm just talking about why if you're an enduro or a DH rider, I'd go with these knee pads. Or some other knee pads that also are hard shell, but these are what I went with. So one minor gripe I did have about these is that they're kind of already tearing. Um, yes, I think it might be because I was pulling on this when you pull it up pulling on that is not a good idea because it wants to tear and also pulling them off like this is not a good idea as well because they want to tear yeah they should be a little stronger than that but I'm just gonna sew them back up and should be good to go after that again not gonna get in depth on these knee pads I you guys are gonna have to wait for in a review video when I have more time on them but uh, yeah that's my thoughts on why I changed to the d30 pad from the G form x3 pads from further thinking about it, these actually held up quite well for how thin they actually are. Yeah, I don't have any crashes on them really, unfortunately, I can't really tell you guys about that. I, I had a slight crash, but it was like, super minimal, these didn't take any hit. Um, but yeah, thinking about it again, the, the holes you see on the screen right now, that is actually not too bad for how long I've had these for. They're not, they're, they're holding up pretty decently well. So. I'll give them an extra point for how durable they are. But still can't say how they're gonna look after a crash. But I'll just say it outright right here, the main reason I replaced them with the D30s is mostly because those slip down too much. And I also thought it might be a good idea, I'm getting more of an advanced rider uh, to get a beefier pad. So there you guys go. There's my thoughts on the two different pads, mostly the review on the X3s. Hopefully you guys thought this video was useful or at least entertaining. If you guys like, do like what you see, 
please smash that like button and consider subscribing. And remember guys, full send or no send.